You can move around. Yeah, but if I go like this, you see my ear. I can follow it. All right. All right. This is John Scrutter with Service TV, and we're here with the uh, famed artist Jeff Darrow. How are you doing today? I'm all right. I figured How about this. Is, you? I'm pretty good. Thank you for asking. Um, I was first introduced you to your work. Did you go last night? Is there a casino here in town? Or? What's that? Are there casinos here in Charlotte? No, there aren't. Okay. No. Pretty much no gambling here in uh, North Carolina, really, You're except for the lottery. You're taking a big gamble talking to me, so. Why is that? <laughs> You'll find out. Okay. I was first introduced to your work uh, through Hard Boiled and Rusty the Big Guy Robot, uh, which you uh, did with Frank Miller. But uh, I was really intrigued with your style of artwork. How did you get into doing what you do? It's just I just did it. I, I wasn't a conscious attempt to, oh, I'm going to draw like this. Or, uh, it just influences you know, guys like Kirby and Corbin and Vaughn Baudet and especially Mobius and Hergé. How does it feel to be so sought after with your work? In, in the industry, people are That's looking... It's to me. Is it? It seems like it, yeah. Uh, your work does pop up around uh, quite a bit, and uh, people are looking for the Darrow style. No accounting for taste. Now, Shaolin Cowboy, uh, how did that come about? It's, well, I mean, it's just basically something I wanted to draw. And it, I can draw anything I want to draw in it, so that's why I do it. What are your inspirations for your uh, art, aside from the artists that you just mentioned, and uh, other influences like uh, movies and television? Oh, a lot of uh, westerns and Japanese film and Chinese film. That's my big inspiration. I grew up watching westerns on television and spaghetti westerns and then Japanese samurai films and kung fu movies. I really like the Evil Dead movies. I really like Sam Raimi and action stuff. Walter Hill. Walter Hill's a great director. There's a lot of uh, Kurosawa influence in your work as well. Yeah, I'm a big fan of Kurosawa. How do some of these stories come about, the origins of them, such as uh, Hard Boiled and uh, Big Guy and Rusty the Boy Robot? Just, you know, Frank said, you want to do a story? And I said, yeah, what do you want to do? And I said, well, something with lots of action. He wrote this ten-page thing that turned into the first issue of Hard Boiled. Free synopsis of Doctor Who. A what? Doctor Who. What about Doctor Who? Oh, what do you like about it? He fights monsters. That's true. And he can regenerate. I love the whole gimmick. The gimmick of if the actor, the actor becomes a pain in the ass, they can just kill him off. And, you know, I think that's pretty funny. And, and I like that they look, the old ones, they always look kind of cheap. But because they didn't have much money. But that didn't stop them. If they were going to fight like an army of lizard men, they would do it. It looked pretty crummy. But they didn't stop in America. They go, oh, no, no, we can't do that because it would cost too much or it wouldn't look good. And so the stories would be boring. But Doctor Who, they fought all kinds of robots and monsters. And Seems to be very, uh, you know, around what you do in your work as well. Uh, what do you have got? What do you got coming up uh, currently? Another Shaolin Cowboy. What about uh, future work? Shaolin Cowboy. I can't tell you. That's what I'm doing. Nothing more, nothing else? Well, isn't that enough? What, what do you want? I, I, I'm working in a gas station, then I get a job at the 7-Eleven, and I'm hoping to, uh, I'm trying to get the uh, the Chicago franchise for the Bump It. That's good. I think it's important that everyone who has hair, if I don't, can have access to a Bump It when they need it. How's the uh, show been working out for you this weekend? Very good. A lot of very nice people. and very comics oriented show which is very nice. You seem pretty laid back yourself this weekend as well. As opposed to I don't know, I haven't met you before today. I'm, yeah, I'm like this all the time, pretty much. Unless I get angry. It's got that sunny disposition about yourself, that very laid back. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. That's my wife and my daughter. I don't think they'd call me sunny. <laughs> uh, it's been a pleasure talking with you, Jeff. I really do appreciate your time.